Uh, now, the other choice that we have is to do an ankle replacement. Um, ankle replacements are much newer than knee replacements or hip replacements. And we're talking about a much smaller joint with higher pressures going through the area. And so there's been several generations of these implants over the past uh, 20 to 30 years which have come out. And we're starting to get some mid-range data on the long-term, or the mid-range data on the outcomes of these procedures, uh, but we don't have really any long-term data. Uh, we think that these types of uh, replacements only last around 10 to 15 years in most people. And the problem with doing an ankle replacement on somebody is that if you have to go in and take it out due to failure in the future, uh, what ends up happening is you have bone loss between the bones and you have to do an ankle fusion procedure anyway, but it's a little bit more difficult because now you're dealing with a hole in the bone instead of having two bony surfaces contacting each other. The uh, indications for going in and doing an ankle replacement are really pretty slim as well. You need a patient who is relatively healthy. Um, you can't have severe uncontrolled diabetes. Uh, you can't have uh, vascular disease. There's a lot of other issues which can pretty much uh, tell me as the surgeon that I should stay away from doing an ankle replacement because they're gonna have a high risk of complications. Um, other things are if there's any angulation to the bones, it tends to uh, load the ankle joint uh, in uh, a malpositioned way so that the forces going through the ankle are disrupted uh, on one side to the other and this causes extra load on the implant and can ultimately result in uh, premature failure. And so we'll really look at that on the x-rays and we'll make sure it, does, this, does this person have a well-aligned ankle to begin with and if so we may consider a total ankle replacement. Um, having said that, um, there's other problems with uh, uh, total ankle replacements that the person with an ankle fusion doesn't have. The total ankle replacement patients, even though they can move their ankle, they still have a joint. And so the pain relief isn't as consistent as it is with doing an ankle fusion or arthrodesis procedure.